Hey friends, we are super excited to be making our wedding and engagement email templates available that we use in ShootProof. And I thought I'd uh, quickly go through and show you how we actually use them and what it looks like in the back end of ShootProof in case you're not used to doing uh, email campaigns within ShootProof. Um, what you see right here is two of the campaigns that we're running. One is a holiday promotion that we're gonna start pretty quick here. Uh, for holiday print sales. And then down here is our standard wedding and, engage and engagement uh, promotion that we run. And as you can see, it's a nine email sequence and um, you can kind of see the dates that we send them. One of the things that we have found by testing over and over again is that having an expiration date on your gallery of right around 90 days is absolutely ideal for maximizing print sales. So all of these emails are geared to be sending based on that 90 day mark. So if it's going to be live for 90 days, then we're going to send the first email 86 days before it expires. So really four days after it goes live, if that makes sense. So it's these nine emails. Um, there's two on the last day, which I'll kind of show you. But uh, this, is, this is kind of how they all look in the automation section. Um, we can go into the templates and let me show you these ones. So I'll get these in order. Um, just to kind of see what they look like. Uh, so with ShootProof, you can kind of change the different template types. We're going to use an email gallery link type. Uh, this is the email subject. Here's the headline. They're here. And here's the button text. So here's the headline over here. There's the button text. And then you write everything you want in over here. And this is what we're giving you guys when you purchase our email templates for ShootProof right here. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. So uh, you kind of go through and you get that all customized for everything you want to do and for your brand. And then you can come into each of these emails and set the targeting. So you set the email template here, the recipients that are getting it, the date that they're going out, X days before gallery expiration date. There's a few other options you can do here. Gallery release dates, shoot dates, after the order due date, before the order due date, we just use the expiration date because that works great for what we're trying to do. So that's what they, that's the way they all look when you're in there. And then I thought I'd show you what uh, the actual uh, emails look like that are customizable. So this is what you'll get from us when you download these. So go through and kind of tell you anything that you need to customize has square brackets and it's been bolded. Um, uh, and then I made a note about the whole, third, whole 90 day thing. Um, setting up your gallery to have a 90-day expiration, and then also a special encouragement that you should do whatever you can to get as many friends and family to get access to the gallery. So uh, based on your business, whatever's going to work best for you to get your clients to share with people, if, if that's posting a link on their Facebook page or having them share it with people based on how what their level of comfort or privacy is. Just get as many people through this gallery as possible. The more people that get into the gallery, the more people that have a chance to buy. And um, I kind of ranked based on all the orders that we've gotten, kind of who buys the most or who spends the most. And the first is obviously the couple. Uh, it's their wedding. And then secondly, it's usually the parents, followed by their siblings. Uh, followed by the bridal party, and then lastly, guests who are in a photo. I've barely ever seen a guest buy a random photo of the bride and groom or of the wedding that they're not in. So that's a good reason to go around and do um, like candid shots or what we call grip and grins during the cocktail hour, getting guests together for photos. Guests actually buy those, so that's what we see them buy. So that's just kind of some intro stuff. And then got a little table of contents of the nine emails. And then each of the emails, um, I've gone through and noted what template type to choose on ShootProof, what subject to use, the headline to use, the button text, the trigger days, the recipients to use. And then I've actually outlined like what the strategy behind this email is. You can kind of understand what the why is. So when you're customizing it, you can kind of understand what, what the point of it is. So you can customize it for your brand voice. Obviously, all these emails are written in our brand voice, which is very like happy personal voice, but maybe your brand is more um, uh, refined or more professional. You can kind of change stuff out, but I thought that by outlining the strategy, that'd be helpful. So all the different emails have that same kind of thing uh, with each email, the, 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 the type, the subject, all the things that you need to know, the actual email, 
And then you can just go ahead and change out the stuff that is bold and bracketed. So we're really excited to offer these things to you guys. And part of purchasing this, you'll get access to future updates as we add more emails to our shoot proof templates and or update these current ones. So hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions below.